Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And if you're not a part of the Chatterbox, make sure that you do so by joining, by clicking the link in the description bar. It is $1.99 to be a member that is a month. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Also, if you want merch, there's a link in the description bar. Guys, also follow me on Instagram. I post pictures there regularly of my baby. So sometimes, you know how the videos, they don't quite show every little thing. I try to share pictures on Instagram, like outfits of the day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyway, guys, without further ado, um, I've been um, working on this little one, and I wanted to share him with you guys, even though I've shared him a lot in photos already. He is thin, sculpted by Lillian Breville, um, poured by Claire Teller Dolls. And he was painted by myself. He will um, get rooted. Um, and, um, but I want to make sure he get rooted right. And um, so once he is all together, then I will talk about pricing and purchasing and all that stuff because he will be available since um, a lot of people have been asking me about customs and I don't really feel comfortable doing customs yet. So I've been trying to um, paint some babies that I can just put up for sale. Um, so anyway, like I said, this is Finn. So here's his little pickies. So he is... I don't know what you guys want to call him. He is a light biracial, um, or he can be considered like Italian or something, or you know, I don't know, just um, a tanned Caucasian if you want to. Um, but he is, he's fairly light. Um, it's, like I said, it's his feet. This one foot have all separate toes, which is really cute. And um, and then this other one, they're all together. He does have lightly um, tipped uh, nails. And um, so anyway, let me, oh, let's see. I, I hope that you guys could see that when I was showing. I can't see what you guys can see. So... We've already seen him, so we're not going to go through all the, the madness. But this hand is a fist. And again, he has tipped nails. He has beautiful nail beds. Um, Lillian sculpted really nice nails. He has pretty good length nails. They come a little bit over his finger, his little fingertip, so, which is pretty nice. Um, so he's like... For me, I don't know, I think I would still consider him more of a peaches and cream type baby. Um, his skin tone. Let me see, I didn't let me get a little closer to his um I can show you his his whole face. But yeah, he he is um what I I, I would say more peaches and cream. He's simple enough. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see what you guys can see, but he does have quite a bit of veining. Um, but I was trying to show his little fist. Yeah, let's see. So, I don't know. Wait, there it is. So, he has this little fist. All right, <laughs> well, there is his fist. It's... What, 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 what? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, so yeah, so anyway. 
So he has um, brown eyes, um, which are really pretty. And they um, really stand out. He's bald right now, of course. <laughs> so, like I said, he does have some veining, you know, as he get rooted. Some of that you won't be able to see as much. Um, he has an open mouth, which it is so hard. I hate doing these type videos because I never can see and it drives me insane. But he has um, a tongue and he has gums. So I do have a picture where I get close and show like his, his mouth and stuff. Um, but yeah, and then his hand, this hand is fully open. So I love that, all the fingers. And again, you know, he has the tip nails. Um, there's a cute little belly button. And he's anatomically correct, which we're not gonna show that. But I gave him a, a wet mouth look. So I hope you guys like that. And yeah, so just trying to see what you guys can see. It's a struggle, the struggle is real. So anyway, let me talk about this little boy a little bit. This has been a true journey. Um, before all of this outbreak came about in the world, I had um, had a couple episodes of migraines and wasn't feeling well and stuff like that. So every time I decided to paint him, I couldn't. I didn't. I been having him for a while and then I start working on him. I won't work I won't work on the babies when I'm sick. So um yeah. So I I just kinda he took longer than normal but um at one point I was worried like um how he was gonna turn out and then I just I don't know I just I I fell in love like I always do not always but most time um with the process of painting him on oh, those are his ears I don't know if you guys can see yeah his little ears um I fell in love with painting him and then I just I was like oh man I gotta I gotta um I was like I, I, I gotta sell him but um the thing is the only thing about um painting him versus the other sculpts that I painted was really challenging because Lillian sculpts very deep so you know you always feel like you don't know like if it's a cut or something like that but it's really just her sculpting so but I you know I I gave it my best <laughs> like what are you doing boy I don't even know what y'all can see so that's so but but yeah oh so that's his back just so you guys know his back is, um, like I said, he's, that is him, <laughs> his little feet, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, 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 so I was trying to go for a, not a fresh newborn look, but just, you know, to a point where he doesn't, you know, I don't know what I was doing. To be honest, I just, 
was trying to get him to wanted to make sure he looks cute and I'm going to let you guys see what it looked like having a bottle I, I just opened this pack up and seal this for him um yeah so anyway the video is getting kind of late I want to um go into some specifics and um, try to answer a lot of questions that I've been getting. I'm like everybody else, you know, got a lot going on. Um, and I just had. So his bottle, he, he takes a bottle very easy. I really love that about him. Um, let me see if I can zoom in. But his, I love that he can take. His bottle see and he can take the full nipple if you can see the nipple is there but yeah he 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 takes a full bottle didn't it did mama did mama <laughs> so yeah so he um can also take a full pacifier with no problem which I like that I'm gonna put him on a shirt while I talk to you about um, as far as um, putting him up for sale. So a lot of people have been asking me like how much is it going to be and you know little details. Um, one of the reasons why I try not to um, share the babies too early is because as um, soon as you share them people start to um, you know kind of want to give their input which is fine. Um, but when you are trying to create with your own thoughts, sometimes that can affect you. So I don't, um, I've learned to, to not share too early. Um, so I haven't decided on the details as far as his hair and stuff like that. But, um, when he gets totally completed, I will decide, you know, how much I think he um, should be. And I will better know, like, all of his um, things that he will be going home with. Because he will be going home box opening style. Um, I do have a few things that's that already here for him. Um, so... Um, I don't want to share that now, but, um, but yeah, he will, he will go home with a box opening. Um, and I hope a nice one. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it a nice one. I'm not saying that he's going to have a whole shopping cart or anything like that, but you know, just some nice little goodies. Um, you know, standard little outfit pacifier that type thing um but i will post on facebook and i will post on instagram um purchasing details um just to be fair to everybody because a lot of people have been like you know let me know message me first etc etc and you know the moment i do that people are gonna you know really um chew me out because then someone's gonna say I told you to message me first and all that stuff and I don't want to do that so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna put it public and then everybody can go there so like I said follow me on Instagram and the other thing about Instagram and just like Facebook. Now Facebook I can understand because my Facebook um I am usually at 5000 friends already. So I can't add anybody else. So um it'll be hard f you can't avoid um that situation. Well, messages, sorry. I'm all over the place. So messages, when people message me on 
Facebook. If you're not a friend of mine, it goes in this crazy mailbox thingy. And then I have to look a lot of times from my desktop. Um, I think I've kind of learned how to find it on my phone, but it takes me a while to, to, to get to those because I get a lot of messages throughout the day on m multiple sites and emails and stuff like that. So, um, so, but on Instagram, if you message me and it's the same thing, if we're not, if you're not following me, like if you just search my page and look me up and then you send me a message, it goes into this unknown place and it don't pop up like the other ones. It doesn't give me the alert like the other ones and stuff like that. Um, but if you're following me, then it, it usually goes in the right place. So a lot of people have been like, oh, I've messaged you and this and that. And I have like 50 messages in that unknown box somewhere and it's buried down in there or something like that. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to make you follow me if you don't want to follow me, but yeah, you know, um, kind of not my fault if it goes into that other box because that's how Instagram works. If you're not following a person, they figure you're not friends. So I don't know. I don't know, you know, the social media, but, um, yeah. So anyway, message me i prefer facebook a lot of times um instagram is great i check facebook more regularly of course and i check instagram but once i put that up i'll be looking for the messages and stuff when i get the information but um yeah i totally kind of hate this video it's been all over the place so he i i will have to go over i'll later when it's time i'll go over details and how long he is that's a um newborn size diaper that i just put him on and a newborn um thing but he's about the same size as uh noah and nigel um so if that helps um but he's a cutie pie say i'm a cutie pie but anyway um look for more pictures on instagram because i'm about to snap it up and like i said i will give details um, as soon as I get everything together because I like to see what the whole package is going to look like so that I can be sure that I price them right and I will go from there just to be fair. So um, thank you guys for enjoying him with me. Thank you guys for following me on YouTube and uh, my other social medias and I look forward to meeting with you guys soon. Um, those that are in the chat box got a little bit more of an understanding of what's been going on with me. So, anyway, here you are. Later.